The United Nations wants to ease a backlog of ships transporting grain from Ukraine. On Monday, 97 outgoing ships carrying 2.1 million tonnes of cargo were awaiting inspections and one vessel had been held up for 35 days. As a result, a UN official overseeing the exports from Ukraine has asked Russia and other parties to stop full-blown inspections of outgoing vessels. Amir Abdullah is UN coordinator for the Black Sea Grain Initiative. The rate of flow, the number of vessels joining the initiative and the rate of vessels uh, exporting grain from Ukraine has had a marked increase over the past few weeks. And the inspection rate has not kept level with the level of flow. Ukraine has exported more than 6.8 million tonnes of grain and other foodstuffs since a sea corridor opened in July. That's about a third of what it had in storage. The UN says the safe passage deal signed by Moscow and Kyiv eased a global food crisis. But more shippers have joined and the handful of teams inspecting cargo and crew sailing Turkish waters have started to fall behind. So I've suggested that we need to perhaps change the way in which we do outbound inspections, maybe spot check or check particular vessels. Uh, the other th option, which uh, you know, will help also, is to increase the number of teams. Russia, Ukraine and brokers Turkey and the United Nations are the four parties to the deal. They are negotiating a possible extension and expansion beyond its November 19th deadline. Ukraine says the delays in checks have not been adequately explained. Abdullah says it's down to rising volumes and a lack of preparedness on some ships. He's pushing for clearance to double the number of inspection teams. Moscow has criticised the grains deal and said its exports are still hindered.